Hey, what's up and welcome to Hack My Growth. In this episode, we're gonna be looking at UTMs, what they are, why they're important, and how we can use them to improve our marketing ROI. All right, let's go. Are you looking to grow your business but you're not sure where to start? That's where we come in. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If this is your first time watching or maybe you've been watching a while and you haven't yet subscribed, please do so now. We create new content each and every week to help you get the most out of your digital marketing. So what is a UTM? A UTM actually stands for Urchin Tracking Module. Uh, I used to think that it was universal tracking measurement, and I think we still kind of use that sometimes in digital marketing, but that's actually not what it stands for. UTM comes from Urchin, which was the predecessor to Google Analytics. Google Analytics bought the company and then built what we now know as GA on top of their technology. And UTMs were parameters that they were using uh, to help make sure that marketers were effectively tracking their campaigns. So you could feed in specific data into your analytics tools using a UTM. So why are they important? Well, first off, it's going to help us understand which channels are performing better than others. If we structure our campaigns and we use these specific codes uh, or these modules at the end of our URL strings, we can actually know where our traffic's coming from what campaigns were effective, what keywords were used uh, in, in searching us if we're doing paid search. So there's a lot of cool ways that we can leverage these to improve our ROI. The second thing is we can't always rely on Google Analytics to place our traffic in the right bucket. If you watched one of our previous videos on direct traffic, we talk about how there's a lot of traffic that ends up in direct that actually could come from a variety of other sources. And using UTM codes effectively and strategically can help prevent that and make sure that you are tracking the effectiveness across all of your different sources and mediums. So how do we do this? We can leverage them by honestly using this really simple tool called the GA Campaign URL Builder. Uh, it allows you to build these UTMs really quickly and effectively. Now, there's a couple of things that are required and that's gonna be source, medium, and campaigns. And then there's some extra things that you can leverage. Like if you're doing paid search, you can do keywords, uh, if you're doing A-B testing, you can do content. This will allow you to segment your data and get a lot more out of it. So let's take a look at how we do this using the campaign URL builder to make sure that our campaigns are the most effective as they can be. All right, let's take a look. All right, so here we are at the campaign URL builder. You can get to it at this uh, very friendly uh, uh, domain here, which I'll make sure that we post in the comments. That way you can easily find it. Uh, it's pretty easy to follow, honestly, if you just work your way down the list here, uh, and this will easily allow you to create a UTM. So some couple things that you're going to need, which are required, like the website URL, so what your site is, um, the source, so this is going to be something like you know Google or newsletter. It's really the refer. This is what you're going to be using here in the source. And then the medium is going to be your marketing medium. So this would be something like email, organic. Um, you know, cost per click, things of that nature. So that's really the biggest difference is the medium is your medium that you're using to deliver and the refer is a specific referral. So like for organic, you will have, you know, Google, Bing, um, Yandex, Baidu, something along those lines. So that's the way you want to break it down. The, the medium is, is how it travels. The, the refer is a specific channel. Your campaign name, this is what you're actually calling your campaign. And then you can add down here if you're doing paid search, uh, campaign terms and contents. If you drop a little bit uh, lower in this page, you'll see right here, it'll tell you a little bit more of what to do. So what would a UTM look like? What we do is we can go ahead and type in our URL here. Now for a source, I probably wouldn't be doing something like, you know, organic because that's that typically is gonna get pulled in. But what I would do, maybe like a, a referral source. So um, we could say here like PR site, if we have a specific website that we wanna track, right? Um, now you can put dashes in here. One of the things you'll notice if you have a space, you don't typically want spaces in your URLs. Uh, over here we can go referral, because this would be a referral type traffic. And then we can do something like guest post. So we know that we did a guest post on this specific site. Now, as you look, if you look down here, you're going to see this link, right? And you can even build these yourself if you want to, if you really want to get fancy. This is this just makes it a lot easier. So you'd see like my website right here, and then you you know UTM source, and this is the PR site. 
UTM medium, it's referral, UTM campaign, and that would be guest post. And what that would do is when someone would click on this specific link that I would hyperlink in, in a piece of content, it would pass that information into Google Analytics. Uh, or, you know, if you're using HubSpot, it should do the same or, or your other analytics platforms. But specifically, we're talking about Google Analytics here. And you'd be able to find it over here in your all traffic reports, so source and mediums. And you can start breaking it down that way, but you can also look at like specific referral sources. So if you're looking at your campaign, you'll, you'll notice that a lot of traffic already gets put into buckets. Things like Pinterest, YouTube, AMP already does this with the AMP project, the CDN. Uh, any of your other referral sources that you also could be getting traffic from would, would pass through here. Now, as you see, like Baidu is actually a search engine. So uh, this is why having UTMs, especially when it comes to your campaigns, is very important. That way you make sure that the traffic that you're tracking gets into the right um, um, gets in the right buckets. So if I go over here to like my campaigns, uh, we're not currently running any um, we're not currently running any paid campaigns, but we do have UTMs working for a number number of our different uh, things that we're working on on our site. So like our lead nurturing uh, emails have some. We have a lead flow. We've got a couple of different campaigns around our topic and content that we're doing. So as you can see here that these are all set up with UTMs. So we break down our campaign. We can even go into this lead nurture campaign and see specifically that it's actually an automated email from the source and the medium. We can start building in a lot of other um, factors here to see the, the emails, the, the clicks that they, they were actually driving to the site, the content around there. But it all starts with making sure that your UTMs are built. This is uh, something that can take time to do, but it's really worth it if you want to make sure you can make sense of your marketing data and know what is actually producing the best results for your brand online. Let me know if you have any questions about what we talked about in this video. Comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Anything that you guys want to share uh, about how you use UTMs, that would be awesome as well. And until next time, happy marketing.